it's motherfucking Tuesday night. It well, technically it's Wednesday morning. It's like 1 a.m. I just got back from a beautiful surprise party that my college buddy's girlfriend held for him at like a local arcade bar. It was fucking spectacular. I haven't seen a lot of those folks in a while, so I was super excited and it was really nice to reconnect with a lot of folks that I haven't seen in a while because I dropped out of community college because I'm really bad at math but you know whatever man we're living we're loving we're doing things it's always interesting because everybody's like what have you been up to for the past you know four years and I'm like <laughs> surviving having sex living getting over multiple relationships you know that uh, funny little thing that happens in life um i recorded a really shitty video yesterday where i was really anxious the whole time but i did talk about the monster of the week session that i dm'd on monday it was super duper fun. I had a great time. I had two different ideas that I was going to, well, initially I had one idea that I was going to go into the session with, but then one of my players let me know that he had used now four different luck points. So I had such a good idea for a hook of a different mystery that I decided to save it for another time when we had the whole party there because we had our spooky character was not available because this past weekend was Father's Day and she was in Virginia with her dad. So we were down to just two players in May. Um, our DM of our 5e session is still out due to car troubles. So it was just me and the boys and we pulled together a quick and dirty monster of the week. I pulled something out of the uh, Tome of Mysteries expansion handbook, which has been my lifesaver due to the amount of like pre-generated mysteries there are in there. And like sometimes I'll go looking for it and I'll see something I've read like three or four times and I'm like, oh my God, it's fucking perfect. And which is exactly what happened. Well, I picked this one because I had spilled my water bottle over the Tome of Mysteries earlier, and this was the most wet pages. And fittingly enough, it was, in fact, a lake monster mystery. So I was like, thematically, it's perfect. So the boys have been hanging out in Tennessee for a while because this is set in the real world in 2004. Well, the real world. There's monsters and stuff. Supernatural beings. I call them ephemerals because acronym purposes, you'll see. <laughs> but um, they went to kind of an eastern part of Tennessee to fight a lake monster. Uh, it was a Kappa, and I'm not as familiar with the Kappa legend, but I did some kind of frantic Googling, and it was just me and my two besties, so I figured I'd be okay with it. Um, there was a point where I kind of had to, like, backtrack and figure out another way to progress the final combat, but I think overall it went pretty well. They keep assuring me that they're having a wonderful time, which I think is a good sign. I don't know, this, this is my first time ever like DMing anything. I've never DMed Dungeons and Dragons before because I'm intimidated by the amount of math you have to do. Um, but Monster of the Week is just 2d6 and the like success, partial success and failure system I think is really an elegant way to do things because the partial successes and the failures and even the successes provide so much opportunity to kind of like you know, do what you kind of, to, to, to fucking whip up some shit, right? Like, my spooky player rolled a partial success on a hex roll last game. Not the most recent one, the one before that. And she, it was a hex roll to destroy something precious to what she cast it on, which was the main monster. 
So I figured the thing that was preventing her from being dead would be her most precious object. It did get destroyed. So, her side effect due to the magic, because one of the glitches is it has an unexpected side effect, was that her natural telepathy kind of feedbacked so that the other player in the player closest to her, the Spellslinger character, could hear everything she was thinking, which for this very taciturn character was the equivalent to kind of like setting a fucking fire under her ass. Because like all of the shit that she had been kind of like passively narrating, now the other character could kind of know and understand that. It was so good. I felt so good. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. You guys see my bruises from Pride last week. <laughs> I had a spectacular time and that's all I'm gonna say. No, I'm gonna say more. I had an orgy. It was incredible. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> anyway. Monster of the week. <laughs> I feel like I'm really living my best life right now. You know, like I'm having fun. I'm exploring things. I'm staying true to myself. I'm, I have a really, really good group of friends in multiple circles. Like I've got my D and D group. I've got my kink group. I've got my, you know, I've got fuck. I've got fucking people, and that's kind of great. Like I'm, I'm employed. I'm social. I'm attempting to save money not always successfully i'm playing a lot of good games my creative muscles itched great good shit i don't know i am crossfaded i was gonna i've got my motherfucking my dugout i was gonna smoke that's what i was gonna do Wow, this is almost as long as the video I recorded yesterday. It's fine, you know, it's an okay video. But like, I kind of want it to be really good. I kind of want it to be a little unhinged. Because here's the thing, the more I think about something, the worse it is. I just have to kind of bleh, and then it's fine, you know? But the more I get anxious about it, the more I overthink it. And that's why I stop doing anything. But I'm here, I'm alive, I'm living my good life. It was so nice to see so many of those people. Cause like, this is a buddy I had had since community college. I already said that. Uh. Tomorrow, I have the day off. I'm going to do some laundry. That's my only plan. And I think that's good. I think it's good to not plan your every fucking second. I think it's good to give yourself the freedom to chill. I love you. Enjoy your evenings. Enjoy your days. Live for the little things. I love myself. I love my friends. I love everybody. I love you again. Nine minutes. Wow. This entire outfit is pretty much from Earthbound, except this top, which is from a weird store in Alabama that I love to death. Anyway. Gute Nacht. Buona notte. Sayonara. Uh, more buonasera. <laughs> anyway, good night.